no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? It's a great day. Flight leaves at about 12:45 or 12:50. Yeah, only about an hour flight. Time to check in my bag and uh, keep my backpack with me. And then, you know, got the goodies and the snacks in there. Good thing is the hotel's gonna be pretty close to the airport when I get there and we're just gonna Uber everywhere. So pretty easy access. I'm excited, man. Gold's Gym Venice. Um, good food, good times, living life, just because. So, and I haven't seen David in a long time, so we're excited to just hang out. So, yeah, let's do this. Everybody looking at me all weird because I'm filming. Fuck it. About to go through security. I always bring a bottle of water and just chug because dehydration is real when you travel. But uh, about to chug this water. Whether it's water, Hennessy, Bacardi 151, you gotta chug that shit before you go through security. Don't waste it. Yeah, LA bound. Let's go. So I just walked through security, guys, and uh, I started putting my shit in the bin, like my phone, my you know, my wallet, all that stuff. And uh, I started getting in line to go through the metal detector. And the lady's like, excuse me, sir, can you take off your hat, please? And I'm like, yeah. So I, you know, put it in the bin. And she's like, can you take off your uh, your sweater? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. Took it off, put it in the bin. She's like, um, and, and can you actually, can you take off your shirt, too? And I'm like, I kind of froze for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? And then uh, I look over, and it's like a group of three of them. And they're just looking at me laughing, like blushing and shit. And like, just kidding, you don't have to do all that. And I'm like, thanks for the sexual harassment. I really appreciate it. I'm like, I'm sure you're playing. I'm sure you wouldn't want to see that. I'm sure I'm not like a sex symbol like clearly standing in front of your face right now that you've never seen the likes of before. You've never seen someone of my caliber. And so I started taking my shirt off and then they're like, they started sweating, they started blushing. And literally like I looked down and their pants are just like soaking wet. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, water damage. like I haven't been in there yet. Walking into the hotel room. <laughs> oh shit, it's kinda nice in here, oh damn. All right, just kidding guys, okay, here we go. Room tour, pretty basic, pretty nice though. Taking good care of us, boom, boom, boom. Can't wait. David's probably like landing right now at the airport, so um, as soon as he lands, he's gonna hit me up so I can tell him how to get here and I'm gonna like lead him in the wrong direction. We got two beds here, although I'm not too sure why they did that. Because technically speaking, David and I are going to sleep on this bed and we're only going to use half of it. If you're following me on Instagram, you already know that I said that. But um, yeah, this 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 bed right here, it's a huge no-no. I'm going to use that phone over there to call the front desk and be like, Excuse me, um, I would like to request a room change because like I'm totally straight. But like I'm going to have somebody inside me the entire time I'm here. Spins inside, I've never sat. Okay, so we can hang out here. You can't find the same 
my father Eric. What's this? All right. Oh, okay. Vlogging. Cheeky cunt. All right, guys, we're chilling. Check it out. David just literally just got this laptop. Like, it came in when? Literally came in this morning, like 15 minutes before I left for the airport. This is the maxed out. 15 inch 2017 MacBook. Are there any specs any specs that you can say for the people who know the fuck you're talking Quad about? Quad core 3.1 gigahertz processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and I know I have a Radeon 4 gigabyte graphics cards with two terabytes of PCI SSD. <laughs> I don't, I don't need to, like, that literally, and then you have this, like, old 2015 model that I'm gonna sell to Chris for, like, fucking four dollars. You get an iPhone, uh, like, join 2017. Hey, come here, come here real quick. Hey, what do you think about me not ever having a MacBook or an iPhone? I don't think of you, that's the thing. Like, there's nothing to think about, like, you're not a person. I'm, like, the last person, and I don't even have the, I don't even have the latest Android. That's, I know you do. You have like an S3 or some shit. Like my little brother is like. You got to show me how to use this camera because I still don't fucking know how to use cameras. Like, I, ha I have it on. I have it on the automatic mode. Is that what I'm supposed to do or what? I mean, pretty much the gist of it. Unless you're like filming a fucking Michael Bay movie, you yeah, just like put on automatic and just point it at you and talk. Well, whatever, whatever goes on this camera, it's literally me. So like. They, my my sex appeal offsets the uh, fucking yeah, shitty quality of the, yeah, of the film. Yeah, it increases the size of the sensor and just like instantly makes them sharper, better, nicer, just harder, harder, thicker, harder, tighter. That's a good point because you said like, um, like all these no pain, no gain mentalities in the gym is yeah. like it's kind of like direct, yeah, directly correlated is like how much you suffer and yeah, how much exactly. you don't like it yeah. to how much results you're gonna get. But then it's like if you think about it that way, then. Why would you even go? Why would yeah. you even get results in the first place if you literally are not? You're you're saying you're not gonna like it. So why yeah. would you even fucking? So. Often you uh, it? Not not very often. Just maybe when I go on well, trips me, or something. It was my first time ever. My Officially shape. documenting the first time Laid has ever shaved his legs. I feel like I'm proud of you, man. That's when you turn into a man. Like you know how when they tell you, oh, you shave your legs, like you're gay. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> But then, like, well, well, true. technically he is gay, but he's not gay because he <laughs> shaves his legs. <laughs> but then you get to a point where you shave your legs, like when you're when you're be like when you reach a, a next level of maturity, yeah. is when you shave your legs because of how alpha you are, and that's how do you feel right now? I mean, like you said, my testosterone went up four hundred percent. Yeah, and like it is what it is, right? Like exactly. it just it just matches who you are now. Yeah. Like you're not even phased by it. It is what it is. Man. Ready for day one at Gold's, man. Let's fucking go. Alright, guys. Day one. I hit the Mecca, Gold's gym. Hop in the Uber. And, uh, yeah, see what we make of this. Oh, didn't even wait. Find it online. Just savage it out. <laughs> Oh, the revenge. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now fuck that people. <laughs> you bitch. Shit. Dude, I legitimately had a panic oh. attack in the Uber. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I told you that. <laughs> Woo! Oh, all right. We're even. I thought you were making. I thought you were bullshitting your face. I was not. That, that was shit is serious. That was no acting. Wow. Not even once. Oh. Woo. All right, let's go. Oh, that shit. That'll. Work. Okay, guys. So we pretty much didn't do shit. We just kind of got a pump a little bit, and uh, as it's gonna be all week, no, nothing really planned for this week. Just to have a good time and enjoy life. But obviously, that you know involves being at the gym and meeting people, new people, and familiar faces. So we're here, capping it off, got some good picks. Dude, what I gotta say is that these two lads, dude, they're a big fucking inspiration, so I recommend you guys subscribe, comment, hey. and like their shit <laughs> like today. Shit, hey yeah, mo most people left, but uh, we've yeah, been here dude, for days. Genuine but Genuine uh, as fuck, dude, yucky. <laughs> genuine as fuck. Euphoric as fuck. That's just, yeah, it, it was good times, you know. We, we, like I said, we didn't really do shit. But we've just been taking pictures and uh, interesting fact for you guys, David, you know, lifts and shit like that, but his his passion really is getting behind the camera. Like, you put a good camera yeah, in his hands. Yeah, working out's fun and all, but the whole behind the scenes shit, that's my hap that's my passion. I gotta get someone to like get a candid camera on you when you have a good camera behind your hands. 
he yes. just like he just like dives to the ground, like snaps good shit. But um, I'll post some pictures. You guys will see some of some of David's work. Surprisingly, eventually you're gonna end up turning into like the next Noel Mac. Noel Mac's gonna get fired and shit. Dude, Noel Mac's yesterday's news, bro. Yesterday. Old news. All right, guys, checking out. This is day one. Uh, a lot more days to go. So yeah. Okay, so uh, we finished eating after our workout and shit. And on the way back home, we were kicking it with uh, just me and David. We're kicking it with our boy David, um, that we met at Gold. Super cool kid, and uh, he was nice enough to, to he was nice enough to give us a ride back here to the hotel. And I was like, damn, this this hotel is pretty nice. I wonder if they have a hot tub on our way back, right? So they have like it's pretty sick. They have like a pool. They have like cabanas and shit like that, um, like heaters. And, and I was like, fuck, they gotta have a hot tub. So the the lobby was like, yeah, our hot tub closes at midnight. And it's only like 10 p.m. or 10:30. So we're like, fuck it, let's go check it out. So we came out here, we still have our gym bags and shit. And we were too lazy to go lazy, too lazy to go back to our room. So we just said, fuck it, get naked, boxers, and hop in the hot tub, bro. And it was the best decision we made because we fucking needed that. And uh that that just cooled us up. Well, I can't say cool to stop, it's not the right word, but warmed us up, felt really good to cap off the night, and then tomorrow we're gonna do another workout of goals and shit. So yeah, good time so far. Pretty happy with the situation, having a really good time. Um yeah, one life, guys. That's what I'm putting out, putting this out there for, one life. Remember that you don't need a reason to do shit and enjoy life, so get out there. Mm -hmm.